What's happening everybody? Welcome back to FTD Facts. Of course, I'm Leroy and we got a special, awesome and epic video here planned of talking about fitness. And we have uh, Jessica over there. I'm warming up. Jessica's warming up, getting ready. You ready for this? You ready for this video? Yeah, ready for this. <laughs> there we go. And then we also got Dave. Dave, what the hell are you doing? Dave, man, you suck. Shut up. All right, guys, so let's hop into this video, and we have Jessica helping us out with this one. So, Jessica, tell them a little bit about yourself. So, I'm the CEO of a gym called Gymify. I'm also a personal trainer, and I do a little bit of acting and modeling as well. All right, you ready to deliver some facts? Ready to I'm do this? So ready. Let's no, do I'm it. More ready in my life. Now, before we start, guys, I want to know: Do you exercise? Let me know down there. Now, there's a huge myth when it comes to working out. Like they say that the more you sweat is actually the more calories that you're burning, but that's not actually the case. So when you go to the gym and you're sweating buckets, basically the, all your body is doing is just sweating to cool you down to make sure your body stays cool. And also, when you sweat, it removes toxins toxins from your body. So yeah, if you're outside and it's hot, or if you're working out at a gym and your body gets hot, you're just gonna sweat naturally. It doesn't mean you're burning any extra calories. Go, 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 jump, jump. Even if you're using heavy dumbbells, you're not gonna be able to build up a lot of muscle like men would be able to because you have lower levels of testosterone in your body. Now there's one main advantage to working out on an empty stomach. You could actually burn more fat. According to Robert Ferguson, who's the founder and CEO of Diet Free Life LLC, he says, your muscles don't have much sugar to draw from, so you are more likely to tap into your stored energy, which means releasing and burning what I refer to as surplus fat. But if your goal is performance based, you know, working on an empty stomach may not be the best idea because then you're not gonna have enough energy to go all out. And then when it comes to competition day, you're gonna be like, dude, what the heck? I just like wasted my time at the gym. <laughs> it's common knowledge that smoking is bad for you, but did you know that inactivity can have the exact same effect on your body? Physical inactivity is actually second to smoking in terms of creating premature death. So if you don't go to the gym, you're gonna die. Not actually die, but you will experience premature death. Now, one of the awesome benefits of working out is that it actually boosts your self-confidence and it makes your skin radiate. It but improves your sex drive. Can we say sex on this? Yeah, we can. Plus, it makes you look good and feel good. Now, this is a pretty shocking fact. Like, did you know that runners that stretch before running, they actually burn 5% less calories than runners that didn't stretch. It's crazy, but according to a recent study, it found that non-stretchers ran 3.4% further than stretchers. They also found that this decrease in muscle force production capacity lasted up to 60 minutes. One misconception is the only way to get definition in your muscles is from lifting light weights at a higher rep, which isn't true. Muscle definition comes from having low body fat and muscle mass. If you train with light weight only, you're not going to build any muscle, as well as the more muscle that you do build, the more fat you'll be able to burn, as well as calories. So yeah guys, if you have low body fat along with small muscles, there's nothing really there to show off anyway. So you want to build your muscle, cut the body fat so you have a little something to show, you know? Jessica, where did you go? <laughs> a lot of people believe that if you're not sore the next day after a workout, it means that you didn't work out hard enough. Well, actually, soreness is a chemical response to inflammation. It means you ripped your muscle fibers. Actually, if you don't feel sore, it means you worked out just right. Yeah, and actually a lot of uh, Olympic athletes haven't been sore in years, so you're pretty good. Now, a lot of people go to the gym and they just waste time because they're literally just bouncing around, not really doing anything, you know, working out a little bit of one muscle group, a little bit of another one. But there is one general rule that you should remember. If you're doing an exercise, the more of that exercise that you do and the more it causes you to move, the bigger the benefits will be. So if you're trying to cheat and just be like, you know, doing a little bit of bench presses, okay, I'm good and then move on to your arms. 
just stick to the chest a little bit longer. Okay, so myth. Big muscles are strong muscles. There's a difference between training your muscles for strength and training your muscles to be big. For athletes, strength for maximum effort is most important. Well, that concludes this episode of FTD Facts, you know, giving you some shocking facts that you more than likely didn't know about working out. And big shout out to Jessica for helping us out with this. Thank you so much for having me. Had a good time. By the way, how can they find you online? So I actually only have Instagram right now. So my Instagram is Jessica Klattenberg, my full name. So if you search Jessica Dawn Klattenberg, you can find me. The link's gonna be right here somewhere. Get down below. So if you have any fitness questions, you wanna get more in shape, or just generally just live a healthier life, Jessica will definitely help you out with that. For sure. And also guys, be sure if you have any ideas for future facts videos, leave them down below. Until the next video, I'm Leroy Kenton. I'm Jessica. Boom. Bam.